to Ode for all your craves from the grave. How may we serve you? Can I get two B plus smoothies, hot, and some finger fries? <sighs> We're out of fingers. May we recommend instead our summer special on tater toes? Thank you for waiting, Harry. There was an emergency with a malfunctioning blender. This rate will be a century older before they send me a new one. No problem. Thank you for taking the time to see me. I know you're not actively hiring. We are. But I typically don't see such an initiative every day. I'm Sheila, by the way. The head manager here. So, tell me, Murray. What brings you here? Well, I want to work for Oneg. Yes, clearly. But why? Surely there are other restaurants that might be more suited for you. Maybe, but they're nothing like Oneg. Are you a fan? Because you'll be disappointed. There's no one famous here, working or visiting. No signings or photo ops. Oh no, that's not my thing. I collected dinosaur cards once, but then I got bored. A uh, fetish? Danger? Get your blood pumping? Your adrenaline going? More of a comedy guy. Little bites? More scratch. Oh, oh no, I barely made it through puberty. Good! Get stained that crumb. Your constant invasion is why I don't miss the city. I don't usually do this ever. Sheila, can I get a break? I don't think I can stand up much longer. I'm busy, Sean. Go ask Frankie. I don't know where. I'm she... busy! I apologize. Seems like I can't get a minute here without some crisis. Which leads me to my next question. What can you bring us? Or me, more specifically, since I'm the only one who gives a crap. Well, I have a good experience in the food industry. Yes. A lot, actually. After you graduated with a degree in liberal arts. There's a lot of turnover here. I need reliable staff. How do I know you'll stick? That this isn't some temporary gig to spice up your resume. I take this place seriously. This is huge. It's all over the county news. The first Oneg in my town, whether people agree with it being here or not, this place matters, and I want in. So you're an activist. You know there are better options besides grilling hospital leftovers to fulfill some complex. That's not it. I don't think. I just mean, I could be useful. Do my small part in making history. This place is a big deal, to me. And it's a constant struggle. Nothing is adapted to our staff or clientele. The budget isn't a priority. They've put me here to make it work and it still seems... Temporary? You won't get that higher sense of purpose you're looking for here. We serve fast food as best we can. That's it. Right now you're looking more like a liability than extra help. Please give me a chance. I really want to support this branch. That's it. Why do you care so much? It's not like it concerns you. But it does. It's, it's... The right to integration of odds affect everybody, right? Oh, that stupid acronym. Do you even know what it stands for? Other demon, original demonics. Yeah, specimen. exactly. No one bloody knows. Well, what should I call you then? You can start with Sheila. After all, you're a bit of a regular here anyway. Thought I wouldn't notice you. 
Hey, Sheila. Frankie. Can't you see I'm busy? Oh, sorry. The ice pick is taking too long and I can't find the flamethrower. And Tap got stuck in the freezer. Again. I told you to keep him at the counter until the handle was fixed. Sorry, Sheila, but he was slowing the orders. Just take my heater. We don't want the fire department to show up again. I think she'd be more careful with a guy who's literally made out of flammable fabric. Where were we again? You noticed me? It's not exactly hard to notice the person who comes in every other night, only orders our signature smoothie, and then lurks in the corner without ever touching their drink. I'm not lurking. You're not very honest either. I just, I just feel good here. The first time I came in, I really didn't know what to expect. I seen the commercials and I read the news, but it's not the same. So I ordered something and sat down out of curiosity. Then suddenly something started to click. Like I was at home. The whole place felt like me. It's hard to explain. It's like a piece of a puzzle was missing before without even knowing it. I can't just ignore that now. I'm not saying this place is perfect. Logistically, there are plenty of issues. The trash cans block the main door. The drink dispenser constantly leaks. It's a bit of a mess, no offense. But all your customers love it. They're not many, yet. But some told me they crossed the whole state to get here. This is clearly more than about the food. You're welcome here as often as you like. As a customer. I need to do more than that. And I think I have some great ideas to bring in. I can picture a future here. I can see it, and that's new for me. There's still a risk. Like I said before, no one here is a headliner used to public attention. So, not much familiarity with someone as fragile as you. So you understand that if you come in, they'd be your colleagues, not your babysitters. And if you come in, being careful falls on you. Understood. If I bring you in, it will be more difficult than you imagined. I don't doubt that. At least you know the basics. Which I can't say for all of my staff. I do. I know all the machines, codes, and protocols. Clearly, they might be a bit different here, that I'm aware of, but trust me, I'm a fast learner. Oh, it's different. Sorry again, Sheila. A tap isn't responsive. <sighs> Wait here. Everything myself. What the? Is she related to- No, no. Frankie is the laboratory attempt of who you think she is by a very high MIT student in the 80s. Which- Frankie! Which reminds me, under any circumstances, don't accept anything she might offer you. Understood. I'm letting Tep mount away at the drive through window. He can replace Vic. And where's Victoria? You know her, always slipping away. Deal with that later. In the meantime, Frankie, meet your new trainee, Murray. He starts tomorrow. Really? Oh, wow, welcome. Well, then we're off to a good start. Find him a uniform and some protection, like goggles and whatnot. Um, we only have hairnets. Previous owners must have left something. Well, if you start with some maintenance and see how that goes, kitchen's a bit of a safety hazard, so keep your eyes peeled there. Speaking of, watch it around the deep fryer. Sean has been falling apart since his breakup. Literally, he keeps dropping an eye or an ear in that oil and it splatters everywhere. And you only get one shirt. Hope you're not squeamish. Oh, I don't mind, as long as I don't have to sample tests. Don't even joke about that. We're already low on supplies as it is. Once you've got a good grasp of the place, we'll see about those ideas of Thank yours. Thank you so much. All right, see you tomorrow. I'll be there bright and early. Oh wow, I'm impressed. They won't be happy up there, but I'm impressed. Too bad. Opinions are only for those who get involved. <laughs> well, I like him. He's a bit weird. Um, is that a ear on the floor? <gasps> hey, Sean! The new guy found it!
Yeah. This is a good move. I can move. For Drax's sake, Victoria, get out of my office and do some work! 